just to get the work done that we have to get done at the Board of Elections. So I want to recognize the staff that is here. They're all sitting right over there. Please give them a round of applause. This year, right now, today, we are 18,000 voter registration forms behind. And we were caught up in July. So that's good news yes. for everybody but our families who won't see us for the rest of the month, <laughs> the, uh, the campaign. But my staff is, they're going on overtime. They're doing everything they can to get it done. And they're doing it against the odds. They're doing it against a budget that doesn't really take care of them. They're doing it uh, with nefarious actors out there doing everything they can to suppress the vote. But they're going to get it done. Because we have no choice. We can't pave that road next year. But I need your help. Because this year, we're going to see a record vote in Onondaga County. We already have a record registration rate. I checked it before I left the office. We had 310,000 voters in this county. That is the highest it's ever been. And we have more ways to vote now than ever before. You can go right to our website, onvote.net, and get people to register. If they're not registered, get them registered now. Get them to check their registration to make sure that they're registered in the right place. Get that done now. But they can get an absentee ballot or early vote by mail ballot, which you don't need an excuse for. All of that has been because we have a Democratic legislature in Albany working to make our elections better. And that's why we need to send Pam back to Albany. That's why we need to send Bill back to Albany. That's why we need to send Al back to Albany. That's why we need to send Rachel back to Albany. But we need Chris and Ian to join them. Right. So these reforms were hard work. I became commissioner in 2013. I thought we were going to get early voting that year. We didn't get it till 2019. And it's only because, it's only because a Democratic legislature took over Albany. And people like Rachel May and others ran on a platform of opening up our reforms. Now, it makes a lot more work for us, but it's good work. It's really good work. And I really appreciate it. So I need you all to go out there and spread the word. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Go to our website, onvote.net. Right, check your registration. Register, apply for an early vote by mail ballot. Find out where you're gonna go early vote. We have more sites now than we did in 2020, but we're gonna have more voters than we did in 2020. There's gonna be lines. Make a plan to vote. I usually like to say, keep me busy in November. I don't think I have to worry about that this time. <laughs> but I want you to get out there. That's why the Democratic Committee exists. That's why the Onondaga County Democratic Committee exists. It doesn't exist for April. It doesn't exist for June. It exists for November. Our job is to go out to our neighbors and ask them to support the ticket and get out there and vote. And I know that all of you will. Thank you.